I'd now like to show you the benefits of using nesting to arrange your part on your sheet of material so it can be cut out minimizing wastage and also minimizing operating loading time if I just click modules here you can see I have the nesting module installed but if you do buy the nesting module you will also get advanced 2D machining so this will allow you to add multiple tools to say for instance inlays or area clearances and also it will allow you to add bridges there's a full description on the website and I'm just going to come back over onto my drawing here and you can see this is a tree it's just a children's toy and it all fits together and then you can hang monkeys onto the branches of the tree but what I want to do is to nest this so it maximizes the whole of the sheet that I have at my disposal and I'm just going to select all of these parts and click nesting just move this over to here and you can rotate the parts round so the computer automatically works out the best fit and I'm going to group just the inside eyes and the mouth of the monkey so they don't create different parts then you can see it's all grouped together so this saves me time having to go into that and mess about with it and I'm just going to create seven parts of each piece and click nest so there we have the part nested so I have seven lots of this monkey tree and I've told it to use a tool diameter of three millimeters and a tool clearance of three millimeters when I actually machine it I'm going to use the same cutter and there will be minimum amount of wastage for the material as you can see there is still a little bit of material left over here what I could do is create a vector for all the leftover material and then design within this area that's left over or I could just select for instance 100 parts and this would just spread out across multiple sheets and you have a sheet layer here so you can switch between the sheets so this saves quite a bit of money when it comes to arranging parts material wastage and the operator having to keep on loading and unloading the material onto the machine you know that you're going to use the maximum amount of material that's available for this particular part so I'm just going to create just a quick tool path to machine this part just going to use the same size cutter that I specified earlier just select everything and calculate that so there we have the toolpath to machine all of these monkey trees out and if I just select the tool because I have advanced 2D machining included within nesting I can click on profile options here and it will allow me to create a number of bridges so I'm going to create three bridges and the bridge length I'm going to create at 3 mil and the thickness I'm going to create at 2.5 millimeters and I'm going to create these bridges what this actually does is that it saves the part flying out of the machine if it's not clamped down or 
on the vacuum bed if it's not being sucked down properly. So this will actually remain part of the material and it stands less chance of the cutter chattering or gouging into the material. And I'm just going to simulate the toolpath so you can actually see what's happening before anything's been sent to the machine. So there you can see it's cutting out a part. I'll just show you a plan view of this. So there we have nesting. This is a great time saving and money saving module to have if you are producing lots of parts from the same sheet of material.